Hello and welcome back to Rob's Homemade Food and Recipes. Today's food will be the my perfect BLT. As you can see, I've already got the bacon in the pan, which I'm going to move onto the stove and we'll start cooking. Sunday morning, carb beef bacon sandwich, but as everyone knows, I like to do things a little different, a bit more tasty not just plain simple bacon sandwich so the bacon's on we have three slices of granary toast with once again another one of my favorite things mustard mayonnaise i've used it in my cajun fish rice balls i also used it on my steak baguette i love it simple mayonnaise mustard simple as that spread it on we have rocket lettuce or iceberg, whatever you've got in your fridge. As I've said in previous videos, I do try to use stuff that people will have in their fridges or freezers and there, so there's no expense, extra expense had to be made. Four slices of tomato, sliced thickly. I will show you why they'll slice thickly later. And because it's Sunday morning, one cup of fresh hot coffee. The bacon's starting to sizzle as you can probably hear, so we'll pop over. And there we go. I have laid it slightly across each other, but as it starts to shrink, you'll be able to cook it again. So. There's no oil in this pan at all, as the juices from the bacon will stop it sticking, so you won't have that problem. You can use whichever bacon type you like, cheesy, whatever you've got in your fridge, like as you said. I'm trying to make it as simple and cost effective for you as possible, which is what I'm all about. Plain, simple, tasty food, which everyone can do. So, turning this bacon. I use my fingers because being a chef, as most people will know, cast iron fingers, see it's starting to brown, some people don't like fat on the bacon, cut it off, I think one of the best parts. Now the bacon flips, we we'll start constructing the sandwich. What we do, move the toast about. Rocket lettuce, just a handful on the bottom, obviously BLT bacon lettuce and tomato. So what I then will do, go back to the bacon, push it in away, and even a fork at this point as the pan is getting rather hot. Shoving in the bacon to the top of the pan, again using a griddle pan as always I do, we'll grab the tomato. Rock it in the pan, giving the tomato a quick sear, 10 15 seconds either side, just to warm it through. I love the smell of bacon in the morning, sizzling away, your core beaches, and the tomato, literally, you just want a quick 10 to 15 seconds either side. Give it a quick shot. Bacon at this point, we quickly turned again. Always put the bacon to your liking. That's perfect for me. I do like a little bit of fat. I don't like it too crispy. So, okay. Three minutes perfectly cooked bacon. Well, obviously, if you like it crispy, you'll have to get a bit longer. Over to the sandwich, and this, as always, like I've said before, I like to make mine big. So, tomato steaming away onto the sandwich. Just grab that last piece. There we go. And then second slice ground toast or 
once again with mustard mayo and then just lay your bacon like I say two slices can be enough depends how much you want you could like say you could probably make a couple of sandwiches out of this but I like to pile it on especially on a Sunday morning just got up hungry as hell maybe got a hangover depending if you've been out the night before so there's a sandwich that makes it nice just push it down to hold it all together slice straight through and you have a triple decker BLT steaming and what can I say now grab it look at that Sunday morning beautiful sandwich tuck in mm. mustard mayonnaise gives it a lovely kick warm tomato warm bacon cold salad beautiful crunchy toast perfect sandwich for any type time of day snack can be served with fries onion rings or just plain and simple on its own like this so that's it that's my perfect blt please give this video a big thumbs up like share subscribe any comments please leave them below any recipes or anything you want you would like to see me do once again please leave a comment below and fingers crossed see you again next week thank you very much and i hope you enjoyed this recipe see you soon bye